Hey everyone, what you hodling? This is John, and today is the 250 subscriber giveaway episode, and also day 96 in Rex. So a lot's been happening in the past couple days since my last video. You know, obviously we had the uh, China FUD, and all of a sudden a day later, there was a bailout, and there's no more FUD, and basically the market rebounded. So, you know, we can... If you guys recall when I did my last video, Bitcoin has dropped to about 39.5 and right now as of this recording it's hovering around mid 44,000. So it definitely did a nice recovery and we will see if we are going to get rejected by that 55 uh, EMA ribbon there and uh, see if we're going to go back down but uh, at the end of the day guys hodl that's probably the best way if you sold when it dropped, then, you know, sorry. But uh, if you held, you know, it goes back up. So, yeah, hodling. That's the way to go, in my opinion. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So let's take a look at uh, Rex price right now. It's currently at uh, 0.93 cents. MREX is at $568. And TREX at 13823 So just shy of 14000 So overall, I'd say Rex has been trending pretty well between... Uh, a penny and eight and a half tenths of a cents so it's holding steady definitely people are selling and that's expected people will always cash out and sell their wrecks after they scrape but uh overall definitely it's growing you can tell by the number of subscribers i received and most of it's all rexicans because uh majority if not all my content right now is on Rex, so I would assume all the subscribers are all fellow Rexicans. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate the support, and it just shows how big Rex is getting there and growing. So, all right, so let's take a look at uh, what we're going to do for today's episode. So essentially, there was an AMA last night. If you miss it, uh, I'll go over some of the key highlights Um just so you know that uh, I believe his name is Adam in the Telegram chat. He also recorded it and it's pinned in the uh, main chat there so you can always check it out. Then we're going to talk about some follow-up questions like large versus small stakes. Also, I notice in chat people feel that the rate that they show that they have in the daily interest rate is the rate they're getting and it they're locking that rate so there's some misconceptions about that and as well as t-rex and mrex so i'll go over those things and of course uh as we head later on the show we're gonna have the 250 subscriber giveaway and lastly a referral giveaway so yes that means i've received at least 10,000 rex in referrals and i will be giving it away in today's episode so let's take a look so Basically, I would say the the main thing that was pushed out there was the new website and they expect it to be launched in two weeks, within two weeks. And it seems everything hinges, of course, on the new website and I totally agree before they launch their marketing and everything else. So once the website's launched, some of the marketing that I heard, um, you know, where was I guess you know some YouTube influencers? I know Ivan on Te Ivan on Tech. He he was uh, mentioned there. His name was thrown there. So maybe there are others. So it'd be interesting interesting to see uh, what type of YouTube influencers that uh, Rex was able to get. Uh, I'm not one of them. <laughs> um, they also talked about. I guess some people also asked about the benefits of the Club Five Five Five, and as well as Ultra Rexican. And to be honest. Um, that stuff seems like they're not really focusing on. And of course, you know, with good reasons, um, they are looking for suggestions. So by all mean, means, you know, maybe drop something in the chat. Let them know if you guys have any great ideas for Club 555 members and as well as Ultra Rexican. But right now, I think everyone is Club 555. So I'm not sure what type of benefit they're going to give to us besides the awesome rate daily rate we're getting right now, which is, you know, between 12 and 13%. Um, so yeah, after that, uh, they mentioned, you know, coin market cap, coin gecko listing and whatnot. So definitely a lot hinges 
upon when the new website gets launched because obviously if we're going to expose and shill hex to the world we want to have a, a, an attractive site not to say that it looks bad but obviously it could use a little polishing up and you know of course with the with the uh, white paper there there's some spelling errors and grammatical errors but nonetheless uh, once it's polished up i think it'll look great and um, they have definitely uh, plans to go multi-chain. So whether it's going to be on Pulse Network or on other chains. And of course, I think Thomas had mentioned about creating his own network, similar to how Richard Hart has done with Pulse Network. So it'll be interesting to see. And they also mentioned that a centralized exchange had approached them uh, wanting to list them. But of course... They decide they opted not to only because they want to have that new website launched. So I guess the world is waiting for Rex to launch this website. <laughs> and I'm excited because I can tell you after the AMA and knowing what will be coming or what can come after this new website, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I feel even more bullish on, on Rex. And again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I felt like the sentiment uh, was a good one because, number one, everyone, at least in this AMA, everyone seemed pretty mature. There wasn't any nonsense going on. Even Yom, who, who, uh, Yonko, I believe, the name, um, who presented... You know, they were very professional and I think us as the community was quite impressed and, and happy with the way it turned out, even though, you know, some of the information they provided uh, is kind of on a high level. Um, but nonetheless, it, it was it was great. It, it's something that we want to um, hear. And lastly, they are, you know, working and thinking on on services. They want to provide services. So. I would guess it would be like T-Rex, you know, and M-Rex services where maybe there is a trustless way where you can lend your T-Rex, basically rent it and, you know, get it back and not worry about it. So, yeah, and also selling selling stakes. So it would be interesting to see what, what unfolds, but uh, I guess two weeks is a countdown and, you know, in the world of Rex, I'm assuming all of you guys and girls... Every day you log in and you're counting down the days when you either hit a certain percentage, whether that's 250, 300, 400, 500 percent, whatever. But I know we are all counting down multiple days every single day, waiting for that that time to for us to take action if we are to take action. So if you missed last night's AMA, it is it was recorded and it's pinned into the Telegram chat. So have a look and uh, listen to it and see what you get from it. So let's take a look here. So yeah, we're gonna talk about, you know, large versus small stakes. And I have to say after the MA, it was it was great to be able to put a voice to the names that you see in the chat. So that was pretty cool. And at the end of the uh, AMA, I believe it was Crypto Folic or Folic. Uh, he mentioned that, uh, you know, some things that people want to consider, may want to consider is instead of having you know, one or two large stakes, you know, to have small stakes. Because at the end of the day, like I mentioned in my last video, uh, when I showed the basic uh, staking ladder, it's simple interest. So whether you have, let's say, like 1 million, 1, 1 million stake or 10, 100,000 stake, the return you're going to get is the same at the end of the day. So, you know... I, so yeah, there's definitely some merit to it, and there's both pros and cons. And uh, I would have to say at the end of the day, it's also relative, right? So if there's some big whale from Hex or wherever who has a lot of money, maybe they can open 25 million stakes, right? Or maybe they can just set up two 500 million stakes. I don't know. But it's all relative in my opinion. But of course, the majority of people aren't whales, right? We all wish we were all whales. But I can say us being early here, day 96 in Rex, uh, you know, we have a chance of being those whales. So nonetheless, you know, for the average person, I would say, yeah, smaller stakes work. It makes sense. And there's pros and cons. So for instance, the way I see 
what I you know personally see large stakes is like a big savings account. Essentially, you're saving for a large event. Maybe you planned it out that, hey, I want to have, I don't know, 10, 5 million stakes so that when it doubles or triples, whatnot, I'm going to have X amount of dollars and I'm going to cash out. I'm going to buy my dream home, mansion, island, whatever it may be. So, you know, I would say a good thing about large stakes is it can prevent you from always scraping. So you're hodling because, you know, once you scrape, you have to scrape the whole thing and you might not want to scrape the whole thing because maybe at the time you don't, the rates aren't as good. That means you have to restake a certain part of it if you're not using all of it and whatnot. So, you know, it all depends, right? There's also less transaction fees compared to smaller stakes. So, you know, if you had one million, one, one million stake, that's one, one transaction fee. If you have, let's say, you know, 10, 100,000 stakes or 110,000 stakes, like mind you, Binance Smart Chain fees are really cheap. So it's not really about that, but it's just more the hassle of going over and what, and just keep on approving those transactions and just doing that, you know, for some People can't be bothered and others, they don't mind. So, yeah, so I would say, you know, the definite cons for a large stake is, you know, you got to scrape the whole thing. And I would say it's not recommended for regular withdrawals, right? Uh, if you're going to do some regular withdrawals, then you go with small stakes. So, you know, I would say small stakes more like a checking account. You know, it's meant for, I guess, if you want to call it daily transactions or frequent withdrawals because it provides flexibility. When you're withdrawing, just like uh, Crypto Folk said, if you have 10 stakes at 100,000 versus one stake at 1 million, let's say you decide I, I need some money from it. So maybe you're just going to scrape that one stake and you still have, you know, 900,000 left. So those are still earning interest, which is great. So it continues to grow. So 100%, it, it definitely provides flexibility. And it's good for frequent withdrawals too. So, you know, if you, you're planning to do, let's say, you know, that 12 month, uh, you know, salary that I showed in the last video, then if every month you're going to be scraping something, then yeah, I would suggest to have, you know, multiple small stakes. And again, it's relative, maybe small for use 2 million, maybe small for use 5,000, who knows? But at the end of the day, smaller stakes depending on how large your bag is, smaller stakes will definitely give you more flexibility and it's great if you plan to do frequent withdrawals. Now, a downfall with small stakes and with that flexibility is that you can end up scraping more than you intended in the sense that, hey, you know, oh, I have like eight more stakes left. Let me scrape this one. Let me enjoy this money. So you're going to be burning through, you may burn through those stakes a lot quicker. Now, at the same time, I would say, you know, there are two types of people. There are spenders and savers in this world, right? The savers are the ones that I would say, if they were to borrow a lending product, I would say you can borrow like something like a revolving line of credit where, you know, you're responsible enough where you know, like, I'm not going to spend it if I don't need it. Then you have people who are spenders who just like to spend and they'll deal with paying, paying it back later. And, you know, usually those group of people, if they were to get some type of borrowing vehicle, I would say a loan would be the right thing, an installment loan. Why? Because once you pay it off, you can't take that money back out. So it, you're always trying to pay it off. And how that relates to, you know, scraping and whatnot is if you're the type that is responsible and you don't touch it, then maybe a large stake would be good for you, right? But if you're the type that, you know, is very active. Even though you pay off your, your credit cards or, you know, whatever it may be, the fact that you're very active, then having a flexible stake in a way, yes, it helps you, but it can also do you harm because you might just burn right through it, right? So, you know, it all depends. Everyone has their own uh, habits and, you know, everyone does just fine. It's just, pers just personality. Um, so, yeah, so... Also, with small stakes, you have more fees incurred. And again, fees are low, but at the same time, fees are still fees. And of course, lastly, like my dashboard is already crowded as is. I cannot imagine if I were to split my, let's say, 5 million stake into like 
God knows, 50, 100,000 stakes, like my screen will be endless. It would be insane. And especially if I decide to scrape it too, it's like, holy smokes, it would be definitely like a, a dead stake graveyard in there. So um, yeah, you know, if you guys don't mind, then that's fine. I know in the new website, they, it was mentioned that um, they will have a sorting feature and, and filters and stuff like that, which is great because it's kind of archaic right now, the way it looks. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think, large versus small. Me personally, I think it's best to have both. And it all really depends on your investment objective and your investment horizon. So, you know, is it a long horizon, short, medium? It all depends. If you have a longer outlook, like myself, you would have, I guess, maybe bigger stakes. At least that's how I see it. And I, I intend that uh, Rex will last that long. So for instance, in my split and double, double and split strategy, you know, each period is in this case a double, a 200%. So right now I believe we're in, in the B period, in the second period, almost, almost there. And essentially I would say, hey, maybe right now a period is about, you know, 20 days, maybe less than that. So let's just say a month, a period so from period three to ten i have one two three four five six seven eight so about eight and a half to nine months so literally if maybe two weeks ago you did a little jiggy 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 and nine months later you have a child it would be in this period 10 <laughs> and and hey guys, if Rex lasts as long as Hex, you know, right now we have about, I think we're day 96, right? So we have about 200 and, oh, I don't know, 70 days. That's about just shy of nine months. So from now till the end of the auction period is basically the same time as you conceiving and having a child and giving birth to that child. You will have, based on this period 10, on two five million stakes to start off with, this is a, over a billion Rex tokens. I don't know what's going to be worth. Maybe it's worth the same price. Maybe it's lower. Maybe it's higher. I don't know. All I know that based on this strategy, I will have over one billion Rex tokens. So, and if you got pregnant and a child, so it just shows you that we are so early guys we have so much time so don't be too short-sighted but hey maybe you're risk adverse and you feel maybe this thing's gonna crash the ground by christmas and we're gonna get scammed or whatever it may be who knows but sure that's okay you, everyone's entitled to their own own opinion and own views of what might happen or may not happen and you have to plan accordingly to how you you see things right so everyone's different Maybe you're right. It's going to be short, short lived, or maybe we're all wrong and it's going to last for a very long time to the point where institutions are buying up this coin. Um, I would love that, but you know, that's long ways to go. But anyhow, so I would say it really all depends um, on your investment objective and time horizon in terms of whether or not you use larger or small stakes. But I think both is great. It's nice to have a uh, a regular periodic payment and also have something big when you decide to say hey i want to buy a car or a house whatever it may be so let's take a look here so yeah i noticed in chat guys um there's still people who think that the daily rate shows that that is shown in the dashboard is the rate that you're getting today I just want to let you guys know that that's not the case. It is an average. So if you see right now you have 15% and you hear people say, oh, right now the rate's, you know, 13% or 12.89 and you're very happy like, oh, I got 15%. I I didn't scrape, so I'm locking in this rate. No, it's not. <laughs> um, most likely you started at 17 or 18%. And over time, you know, with the rate now down to 12, you're averaging 15%. So... So just know that that's the average rate. It's not today's rate that you got and you're special. Uh, we're all special, so we are all getting the same rate, right? Um, and um, 
So yeah, you don't maintain any previous rates. Now for T-Rex, I want to let you guys know T-Rex is a smart contract. So when you set up your stake, you are basically setting up a contract. If your contract has a T-Rex in it, then you're going to get that initial share price. All right, so you're going to get that initial share price. So once you set up the stake and you have a T-Rex, you get that initial share price, your, the shares that you get <clears throat> from staking, it is set. It is a smart contract. A, it's not going to change. All you can do is move this contract to another wallet, you know, send it to your friends, send it to your family, who knows. You can send it to wherever you like, but the amount of shares it has will not change, all right? So what this means is if you got a T-Rex and you staked your you set up a stake, right? 555 five, five, obviously. Um I think I just said 3 fives, but you know what I mean. Um the amount of shares you get with that T-Rex is going to stay the same even if you decide later on that hey I'm going to send my T-Rex token to another wallet of mine or lend it to a friend or whatever essentially you're removing that T-Rex from your wallet that has that stake it will not affect that stake at all because that stake is already set it's a contract the shares you have aren't going to change and vice versa if you already have a stake set up but you didn't have a T-Rex when you set up. So let's say you got into Rex, you set up a stake, you realize, man, this rate is really low compared to everyone who has a T-Rex. Let me go get a T-Rex. Once you get that T-Rex into your wallet, it won't change your existing stake. It's not going to change the shares magically because now you have a T-Rex in there, all right? Because it wasn't there when you set up that contract. In the beginning so remember this is a smart contract guys It's not going to change the share all you can do with it is just move it around in different wallets so it all counts when you set up that stake did you set up with a t-rex if yes then boom that specific stake will have always that initial share price that sh is not even a price the, the share price is just used to calculate how many shares you have so with the lowest share price you're going to have maximum amount of shares right so the shares is going to stay the same okay guys so just remember that and mrex a lot of people think they need more than one mrex to unlock all the benefits and the utility of that token no all you need is just one one mrex will do everything that you need to do the only reason why you may want more than one is for additional like auction contributions so for every mrex that you have you can put in an extra 0 0.1 BNB in the auctions, all right? If you have a complete 20 MREX, which is the max, then you can put in additional 2 BNB into the auctions. So if you're still unclear, you might want to check out my five-part video series. It's part three, which is talking about boosters, T-Rex, and MREX. You can check that out if you're still unclear. And the other benefit of having more than M more than one MREX is the referrals. So if someone uses your referral code and participates in an auction, right now you're getting 4% if you don't have MREX. For each MREX that you have, you will get an additional 0.1% per MREX, up to a maximum of 6%, right? So if you have 20 MREX, that's basically an extra 2% percent right 0.1 percent per mrex it starts at four so the maximum is six percent so that means whoever's using your referral code when they use con when they contribute let's say one binance coin you're gonna get 0 0.6 bnb if you have 20 mrex all right otherwise you have no mrex it's four percent and that's basically 0 0.4 bnb for a one bnb contribution into the auctions okay so i just want to make that clear now slippage guys this one like i hate to see this okay slippage if you don't know what slippage is take a look go google it basically i'm talking about being front run so here let me show you what i mean if you guys don't know so this you can see these uh, little red things 
afterwards. So here, these red things shows they're, they're front running bots. So basically they're trying to squeeze in a transaction or sandwich something. These occur like this is horrible. Look how look how many transactions here are by these front running bots. This happens when you don't set your slippage to 0.1%. And what that means is if you set it, let's say a 1% slippage, you're giving a 1% var variance that uh, like leeway in price. And what these bots do is they recognize that and they're going to come in and let's say, let's say you want to buy Rex. They will come in right before you because they see the slippage. They'll come in right before you. They'll buy Rex, basically jack up the price a little bit. Then you come in. Well, not you come in, but basically your transaction then gets processed. But because you have, let's say, a higher slippage, you're giving a little bit more flexibility in the price. Then you're gonna you're basically buying at the higher price. And as soon as you purchase it, that fronting front running bot is gonna sell back basically the same amount of Rex that they bought before you. So basically they're they're just skimming money off of, off of the top. It's it's amazing. Um, not amazing for us guys. So make sure you set your slippage to 0.1%. It, it's very important. It, uh, it saves you money. It doesn't mess up the charts too much. So yeah, I hate to see, I always hate it to see when I see all these bots front running everyone here. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, please guys save yourself some money. Don't do that. And yeah, pulse chain. So I know I didn't talk much about Pulse Chain in the last episode. Essentially, my strategy was I could put all my money into Hex. Hex was, is doing well, right? And whatever I have, then I'll get a copy on Pulse on the Pulse Network. But when I found Rex, I figured since I was making 20% a day at that time, I might as well put my money in Rex and make that grow and before Pulse Chain does its copy thing and launches, I'm going to cash out and buy Hex. And I'm going to have a lot more Hex after coming from Rex. And I'm going to get that copy on the Pulse Network. So the bag will be huge. The funny thing is, I haven't liquidated any to buy Hex yet because why would I right now? I'm getting 12 to 13% a day. It, it, I'm killing it. So I'm not too worried about the hex price going up. I'm not too worried at all. As long as Rex does what it's doing and continues to do what it's doing, I think we're all doing very well. So, so yeah. So that was basically it for, for that pulse chain bit there. So now we're going to go to the milestone giveaway, guys. So thank you very much. We've reached 250 subscribers with all of your help and support. So what we're going to do here, we're going to give away a 25,000 Rex stake. So let's take a look here. Let's see how much it is right now. So right now the the 250 subscriber giveaway, it's at 93% guys, so 23,212. So I'm going to go pick a comment from the last video and give this stake away. So let's take a look at that. So here's the last video. What the FUD is happening? That was a crazy day. Prices were soaring. It was amazing. So here we go. I hope you guys enjoy this. I actually quite enjoy. I enjoy this a lot, actually, giving away and just seeing the camaraderie, all the comments in the chats and the messages. It's really good. I really appreciate it, guys. I read all of them. So we have 54 unique comments. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, here we go. Diana DeLone, I hope I pronounce that right. Uh, her comment was, lots of great information in this one. So, Diana, congratulations. Uh, I'm going to get you to uh, send me a DM on Telegram. You can find all of my information in the description in the video. So, basically how it works, guys. Once a winner is selected, uh, I'll have them message me on 
Telegram, in Telegram, sorry, and I will ask them to basically post a comment in the video with something specific. So this way I know it's them. So Diana, congratulations. You are the winner of the 250 subscriber giveaway, which is 25,000 Rex tokens. So please check the description of the video, get my contact info on Telegram and send me a message and uh, I'll get your information, send that stake to you. So congrats once again. All right, so now that that's taken care of, we're gonna go do the referral giveaway. So again, for all the new viewers, just to let you know, if you use my referral code, which is in the description of the video to participate in auctions, I get some referrals from you for doing that. You also get an extra 10% Rex. So every time I accumulate 10,000 Rex from the referrals, I'm gonna give it away. So we're gonna select another random comment from the last video. So let's we're gonna pick up winner number two. So let's do this. I'm just gonna save this and open maybe another one because I like to paste the winner in the comment section for them. So I'm gonna duplicate this here. Great. Here you go. Now, if it picks Diana again, sorry, Diana, <laughs> I think it will be one winner at a time. Oh, and one more thing. So I asked all of you viewers, how long should it should we give a, a winner uh, time to respond? So I have to say majority said a, a week, seven days. You know, some said four days. Another said uh, two videos. And the best one was two hours. That was funny. I saw one that said two hours. So uh, I think I'll probably do it uh, probably a week just to give people time because I know we all have biz busy lives and schedules and we can't always be watching videos every other day. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll give it a week for you to claim it, but obviously sooner the better. So here we go. Let's check out our next winner for the referral giveaway. All right, Damien Isaac. Comment was great content. Content. Thanks for the Rex staking strategies. All right. So, Damien, same to you too. Congratulations on winning the referral giveaway. Let's take a look at how much it is. So, check the description in the video. My Telegram contact info, info is there. So, just send me a DM. Let me know it's you. And uh, we'll get, get that going. So, I was checking how much that stake is. So let's get to that wallet. Okay, here we go. So let's take a look. Oh, wow. Oh wow! I think uh, this is more than the uh, twenty five, the twenty five thousand stake that I'm giving away for. Uh, well, it's not more, but I mean the interest that's accumulated in that uh, giveaway was. It's more than that, but yeah, this referral giveaway is twenty three thousand eight hundred forty six, Rex tokens, and so th and yeah, wow, one point five nine uh, Binance coin from referrals thank you very much guys uh it takes a lot to get here so i can't thank you enough i hope you all appreciate me giving back to the community giving back to you viewers i really appreciate you guys taking the time and actually supporting this channel so yes 100 this 23,846 stake it's going to you so let me just make sure i don't have any existing Nope, I don't have any Rex to stake. Okay, great. So I'm going to claim this right now. I'm going to name it Referral Giveaway. So Damien, 
uh, once you once you watch this, send me that DM, and I'm gonna send this twenty three thousand eight forty six Rex stake to you, staked with a T Rex, so you got maximum interest and the highest interest possible. And also for you guys who don't know, in Telegram there is a chat group called Future Ultra Rexican Chat. Just to show you right here. Uh, I'd say pretty well organized considering what they're trying to accomplish. So if you want to try to get the ultra Rexican status, uh, you might want to check this out. So here, basically, you're going to be using a referral code with a designated wallet address. You know, a little bit like a pyramid. You know, everyone contributes to the top, top wallet first. And then once that top wallet accumulates one bnb they move and the next guy goes up so you can do that so you definitely if you guys are participating in auctions you can use uh one of the wallets there as a referral referral code so you can help uh other fellow rexicans to try and help them to achieve ultra rexican status you can also go on my website not my website sorry you can also use my referral code uh, to do your auctions and as you know every time I accumulate 10,000 Rex from referrals I'm gonna give it away so guys please make sure you leave a comment in this video because who knows when I'm gonna get the next 10,000 you know Rex referrals or when I'm gonna reach the next milestone at 500 subscribers so whenever I reach those I'm gonna be picking a comment from the pre last video and give them away just like how I did today so make sure you guys drop a comment uh, let me know how you guys are doing in, in racks? Maybe when you guys started, what strategies are you guys employing? So yeah, uh, all I can say is uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, I will go and stake that stake and wait for the winner to uh, contact me. But uh, that's all for now. So...